We've got a front that stalled north and east. Now, I'm showing it as a warm front because today it will gradually start to lift northeast into Ohio and Indiana. It in that way below pressure back towards Nebraska are the focus of all the active weather in the majority of it. All of it are uh, located just off to our north and northwest uh, today. So no real concerns about any kind of uh, showers or storms, but that all changes going into the weekend because eventually that low cuts up into the Great Lakes and behind it right there at the edge of your screen. You can see another front that's going to track off in our direction, get in here into the weekend and start to ramp up our shower and storm possibilities. So max track not showing anything here. Even Ohio and Indiana are quiet for the time being, but you head north and west torrential rainfall, severe storms today. The upper Midwest getting hammered. This is northern Iowa, southwestern uh, Minnesota is around Sioux Falls there and then running all the way east cuts off just to the west of Madison, southwestern Wisconsin. That's where the active weather is for today. We have a pretty quiet and very hot and muggy day on tap. They've got a, an enhanced risk for severe storms today, but look at the storm outlook as we bump in tomorrow. Slight risk, Ohio going up into New England states, and we are under this lesser marginal risk tomorrow. There'll be a squall line setting up tomorrow evening across uh, parts of the southern Great Lakes. The tail end of that system as it gets in here, that line of storms could impact us. So today, very similar setup, mostly to partly sunny, very muggy, very hot, but very little going on beyond that. An isolated shower, a possibility. Tomorrow, you can see everything breaking down. Scattered showers and storms developing into the late afternoon. And then watch right here, you'll be able to see a line dropping in. It'll likely be weakening as it comes. So I don't think it's going to be a big deal for us, but there may be some storms with hail and damaging wind, especially over Indiana. And then that tracks southeast. And then we get into a very unsettled, but also cooler weekend. Visibility is down, some dense fog in spots, temperatures, well, it's 70 degrees, and we've got a dew point very much on the upside as far as mugginess goes. Uh, it's going to be another hot and steamy day with highs in the low 90s today. Time of the year, our average high, 77 degrees, so yeah, that's up there. It's 70 now. And speaking of 90 degree highs, we hit 90 again yesterday, so Lexington has had 32 days at or above 90 degrees this year. That's some sustained heat. It's not extreme heat. I mean, we haven't even hit triple digits. Our highest high that we've had 97 degrees back on July 4th, but that sustained above average warmth definitely uh, has been the case this year. Our autumnal equinox, the beginning of fall Saturday night and boy, temperatures are going to respond. This is the dew point temperature. This is a measure of atmospheric humidity. The higher the number, the muggier it is, and we're muggy. Upper 60s to low 70s, that's pretty steamy dew point. Same tomorrow, but look at the weekend. Here comes that cold front I was telling you about. Look at that. We'll have much more comfortable air. Not everywhere. This is an indication that the front's going to stall because you don't see that cut in the dew point in our southern county. It's still pretty muggy down toward the Tennessee border. If you're an allergy sufferer, not a lot of improvement there. Medium levels for ragweed and grass. That pollen still up. It's not as the uh, high uh, levels that it was earlier in the uh, last couple of weeks. So low 90s, hot and muggy. Your eight day forecast shows just how much change is coming our way. Hot, steamy today, still upper 80s tomorrow, but scattered showers, even some strong storms Friday evening. And then some scattered showers and storms on and off. Peaking Sunday could be an impact for the UK game Saturday evening, but look at the temperature fall. Mid 70s Saturday, Sunday, we may only be around 70 degrees for the high.